we are going to analyze how the coefficients of static and kinetic friction affect the amount of force needed to make an object move. Here we have a force sensor. As you can see, as we pull on the string that is attached to the hook on the sensor, the computer reads off how much force is being applied to the sensor. We will use this to analyze the amount of force required to move carts with different coefficients of friction. Here we have a cart with added weight on it. This cart is attached to the force sensor through the string. As you can see, we have different carts with different surfaces on the bottom, so we can analyze the graphs of the different coefficients of friction. So let's look at our free body diagram first. We have our weight acting down on the object, our normal force acting up on the object, and we have our force acting horizontally to one direction, and our friction force acting on the opposite direction. Now through Newton's second law, we can derive that our normal is going to be equal to our weight, so our friction force equation is going to be equal to mu times mg. Now if we look at our first part of the graph of our friction force with respect to time, all the way up to the peak, we have our static friction, which is going to be less than or equal to our mu s times mg. And when we reach the peak, our maximum static friction is going to equal our mu s times mg. Now this straight line afterwards refers to our kinetic friction and this is going to be equal to our mu k times mg. Now if we solve for mu s and mu k we have our mu s equal to our maximum static friction over mg and our mu k is going to be equal to our kinetic friction over mg. Here we have our cork surface cart. The total weight of the cart is 10.78 newtons. As we pull it, we can see the amount of force generated on the graph below. Our peak force value is 5.858 newtons, so the coefficient of static friction is 0 0.543. The average moving force is 4.786 newtons, so the coefficient of kinetic friction is 0 0.444. We can do the same experiment with the felt and plastic surfaces. For the felt, the static coefficient of friction is 0.228 and the kinetic coefficient of friction is 0.208. For the plastic, the static coefficient of friction is 0.178 and the kinetic coefficient of friction is 0.127. As you can see, it requires more force to make a cart start to move than it does to keep it moving. It also depends on the surface of the cart. As the roughness of the surface increases, so do the coefficients of friction and the applied force. This allows us to conclude that the force acting on the carts is proportional to the coefficients of friction and that the coefficient of static friction is larger than the coefficient of kinetic friction.